Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening, teacher. How's it going, teacher? It's going great tonight. Teacher, I'm still on the yeah. road. Oh, okay, Henry. Watch. Uh, uh, okay, watch out. Teacher, I'm going to assist a uh, Delorio. Oh, to attend. But I'm still, yeah, but I'm still like uh, listener. Okay, okay, no problem. Please stay connected and then you are listening on me. All right. Okay. Thank you, Blanca. Okay. And I'm Thank so you. sorry for your loss. All right. Thank you. Okay. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Ellen Nilsson. Hello. Are uh, yep. Are you at work? I'm on my way. All right. O on your yeah. way home. Yeah, I'll be listener. All right. Till get uh, till get home. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, <clears throat> thank you. There you are. Um, <clears throat> I see Claudia. I see Carlos Roberto. Present teacher. Claudia. Hi, Claudia. How are you doing tonight? Hi. Good night. Yes, good. Excellent. Uh, how are you doing, Hazel? <clears throat> are you going to be as a listener tonight? Can you just send us a text message, Hazel? Good evening. Oh, there you are. Good night. Oh, right. All right. Thank you very much, Hazel, for letting us know. Hello, um, was it Wilbur? Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Thank you. How are you doing tonight? I'm fine. Thank okay. you. I get always confused with your picture, your, your profile picture there, because I feel that you are on your car when you are in class. <laughs> yeah, I get a little confused. Okay, hello, Hernan. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Are you okay tonight? Are you okay? Okay. Very good. Very ready, good. Ready, ready, ready. Nice. Okay, nice. people, I think I am going to call the roll at 8.15, as I said in the, chat, in the chat, because of the people who is having trouble with connecting because of their own situations at work and on the way. So right now we are going to start just um, doing this feedback, all right? We are going to start with that. So please take advantage of these, all of you that are connected, all right? Uh, congratulations to all of you. I appreciate your effort, all right? So let's go and see, because um, we want to continue with this uh, topic that uh, it's not that complicated, right? It's not that complicated, but sometimes in our culture, we are not used to, to, uh, to use more language than the needed one, right? So we have to open our concepts about singular and plural because maybe they are different, countable and non-countable nouns. Maybe they are different concepts in different languages. So that's what it gets complicated, but uh, the topic it is not because the um, grammar structure is the same, all right? The grammar structure is the same. We want just to take, I mean, the considerations needed to do it correctly, okay? So let me let me go right there and show you, okay? Uh, well, the introductions first, I think, right? The introductions first for this class. This is your video conference number eight. So <clears throat> we are, uh, studying the directions and instructions. Directions, it's one thing, 
instructions are a different thing, all right? So directions, the term directions have a meaning, has a meaning, I'm sorry. And the other term instruction has another meaning. Directions are related to uh, when we want to say or tell someone how to get to a place, all right? How to uh, go to the place he want to go. Maybe this person doesn't know the location of that place, then we use directions, all right? And instructions are like uh, orders or commands. Um, also, instructions are how to do something, like a list of things that are permitted and things that are not permitted, all right? So, yes, because tonight we want to study this topic. This is the topic we are going to try to define. And a previous class, Hernan used this expression, how to use it's not allowed, right? That's our main point, because there are things that are allowed and things that are not allowed. Do's and don'ts, those are instructions, all right? Those are instructions. We are going to start tonight by that directions. And then the part B or the part two of the class will be uh, between today and Monday studying uh, is not allowed, all right? Okay, so <clears throat> this is our video conference number eight. Eight, Carmen, Carmen, number eight, right. Okay, so you will be able to talk about places in the workplace and maybe in different places because it's the same. You can apply them to any other place, not only to your workplace and things that are not permitted in certain areas that are not allowed, right? In certain areas at your workplace. The agenda, the agenda is that we are going to have this short feedback, just completing some sentences and then saying the sentences just to remember the concept of plural and singular. And then uh, we are going to see how to give the directions, okay? How to give directions uh, in a short briefing, but maybe in a practice also, okay? And we are going to practice a conversation on page 23 in our manuals. Then we have some written exercises uh, and speaking exercises too, okay? Then we go to the breakout rooms to give directions how to get to a place in a building. There we have an example and an exercise in our manuals. Uh, then we are going to talk about how can I get to the, and you say the place, all right? And the session one on one for tonight is for, uh, in the list is for number eight. I will check it. I will check it out later, all right? So let's start by this feedback. Let's start by the feedback. Let's start by, by completing. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, there are people in the production as yet. Okay. Are this there? is uh huh. This is uh -huh. a question. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So the correct structure is are there? Are uh, there are uh, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are there people in the production area yet? Yet, in this case, is como todavía o dependiendo del contexto. Puede ser ya, ¿ok? Puede ser que yo ya esté afuera a la hora de salida y pregunto, are there people in the production area yet? So is, there, is there a person in that production area at the time that I'm speaking, right? In that moment. Pero también cuando yo llego, si yo veo que está vacío, yo puedo hacer esa misma pregunta. Are there people in the production area yet? Como quien dice, eh, hay gente ahí ya, 
¿ok? So it has two meanings, yet, todavía, depending on the context, yet, ya, yeah, ¿ok? And the next one. What do you think about the next question? Is there mm -hmm. a supervisor in the station at 8 a.m.? Okay. Is there? Uh -huh. Is there a supervisor in the facilities at 8 a.m., right? Is there a supervisor in the facilities at 8 a.m.? All right, what about the third one? Is there a uh, there? Are there the... The mm -hmm. Okay, veamos que este uh -huh, es como una apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Y un, una letra S. Sería un possessive noun, right? Possessive. A possessive noun. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Is there? Ajá. Uh -huh. Is there? Is there? ¿Y qué nos faltaría there. si es una? O si pregunto por más. Ah, mm -hmm. Is there a? Ok. Is there a? Ok. Is there a? Eulers and multiplaza. Eulers, right? Eulers, that's the pronunciation of this word. Eulers. Ju, ju, like this. Eulers. Ok. You are learners in multiplaza. Okay. A ver, next one. Are there? Mm -hmm. Are there? Okay. Are there shoe stores in multiplaza? Okay. Vamos a ver, next one, the last one. Is there? Okay, because we are talking about one, okay? Singular, one thing. So is there? Mm -hmm. Is there an amusement park in Surf City? Okay, vamos a ver. Um, nos queda un minuto para las ocho y quince, okay? A ver, voy a dar un numerito a tres de ustedes para que las lean. Vamos a ver, Magdiel, número uno. Hernán, number two. Wilbert number three. All right. Number one. <clears throat> Las lee todas, okay? Todas. Okay. <clears throat> Are there people in the production area yet? Is there a supervisor in the facilities at a I am? Is there a Gerald's in multiple? Jewelers. Jewelers. Mm -hmm. Is there a jewelers in Multiplaza? Are there a shoe store in Multiplaza? Is there an a museum? museum amusement. Park? Amusement. amusement. Mm -hmm. Is there a, an amusement park in a surface? All right. Thank you. Okay. Number two, please read all the, sent the questions. Are there people in the production uh, area yet? Is there a supervisor in the fac uh, facilities at uh, a uh, am? Is there a um, jewelers. Jewelers. jewelers in Multiplaza? Are there shoes store in Multiplaza? Is there an amusement? Amusement. 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 Amusement park in Suri City. 
All right, thank you very much. Number three. Are there people in the production area yet? Is there a supervisor in the facility at 8 a.m.? Is there a jeweler in Multi Plaza? Are there shoe stores in Multi Plaza? Is there an amusement park in Subsea? Esta palabra es amusement. Amusement. Uh -huh. Parque de diversiones. Amusement. Right. Amusement, amusement park. Amusement. Uh -huh. amusement. Okay. Thank okay. You. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, get ready, please. I'm going to uh, call the road right now, okay? Hey. What happened? Very sorry, guys. I think I closed that window when I opened the PowerPoint. I think so. Don't have any other explanation because I had it ready and now it is not. But here we are. Here we're not. Okay, while this is uploading, please. I mean, it's not uploading, it's loading. And this is a lot, I mean, when it is loading, <laughs> one second. They lost it. Where is it? Here it is. Okay. I'm there, right? Eso es lo que pasa con las transmisiones en vivo. I apologize. No problem, teacher. No problem. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Okay, here we are. Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto Perez. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present teacher. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Present teacher. Okay. Elenilson Aparicio del CID. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present teacher. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. I'm here, teacher. Good. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Present teacher. Javier Antonio. No, he's not. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. No Juan tonight. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Magdiel Saúl García Morales. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. José Abel Izaguirre Mendoza. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much. I see there are just a few of us, guys. Uh, we have to be conscient that attendance is essential, guys. Attendance is essential. So please let your, um, your classmates know, please, uh, about the attendance. I know you are really responsible. All of you that are connected right now are really responsible. And I, I admire that, all right? I appreciate your responsibility, guys, okay? Uh, pero sí duele a veces que eh, al final del curso, por la asistencia se vayan quedando, ¿verdad? Porque pues han sacado cienes, han, se han esforzado en el momento de la clase y al final pues ya no hay convocatoria porque no estuvo, no llegó al porcentaje. Así que por favor, pongamos de nuestra parte, animemos a nuestros compañeros, ayúdenme por favor en eso, ¿verdad? A que siempre estén conectados. Y a medida vamos avanzando en el curso, es mucho más importante nuestra asistencia porque vamos a ir viendo temas que probablemente no conocíamos, temas que probablemente nunca los hemos usado en los módulos anteriores y va construyendo nuevas estructuras, nuevos vocabularios. En la, en, al final de, esta uni, de este módulo, en la última unidad, vamos a ver la estructura del present perfect. Entonces, eh, son cosas que necesitamos estar presentes para ir ampliando, ¿verdad? Ampliando esa práctica. Ok, y no se les olvide trabajar en la plataforma. Hay algunos que se me han ido quedando. Miren, no, no vayan dejando la plataforma en segundo plano. Démosle, démosle. Aunque tengamos sueño, hay que hacerlo, jóvenes, ok. <ríe> jóvenes aún. <ríe> yes, we are eternally young, right? <ríe> ok, people, let's go back to the topic, all right? Well, we were saying that we have two words, directions and instructions. Uh, tenemos un compañero acá en la clase y lo felicito por eso, es tratar de hacer la diferencia entre los términos, ¿verdad? Porque por eso existen dos términos, aunque sean sinónimos, uno da una idea y otro da otra idea, ¿verdad? Entonces, what idea do you have or do you get when you say directions, directions? 
And what idea do you get when you listen about instructions? I don't know if I understand you, but for idea is a location? Directions. Direction? I okay. think uh, ubicace, ubi, location. Uh, location. Location. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The place where the thing is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Location. Very good. Mm -hmm. What about instructions, guys? What do you think about the instructions? Instructions. It could be, it could be a group education uh, about uh, uh, how to do that, uh, anything. It okay. The, the event. How to do something, right? Mm -hmm. Like yes. marking steps too, and also saying the way of doing something, right? That's That could be instructions. And also, instructions are recommendations instructions are rules okay but directions do you think that directions are rules it's another way right it's another way to say a different thing like um the location of things and how to get okay how to get to that place okay if you follow the instructions they gave you all right following the directions all right then you get to the place right but if you if you don't uh follow those directions then you are going to get lost okay you're going to get lost you are not going to find the place okay to use or to talk about directions we need to know or we need vocabulary about places, we need uh, prepositions of place and also imperatives, all right? Also imperatives. Do you remember just a little bit about directions? Like walk down the street, walk up the street, do you remember? Mm -hmm. Street. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Those are door. prepositions. Those are prepositions of place. Okay. On the corner, right? On the left. Okay. Mm -hmm. On the street, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those are prep prepositions of place. On, in, at. Remember? On, in, at. Those that are kind of confusing, but we are going to use them. And imperatives like walk down, walk up, cross, right? Across, right? So uh, the, the verb is cross, okay? And the preposition is across, all right? Okay, people, let's go to our manuals. In our manuals, manuals, we have a conversation. This is a very interesting conversation. It's a kind of short uh, talking, right? It's a short thing that is happening between Walter and Mary. They are presenting something, okay? They are talking about some things in the company. So let's go uh, to page 23, page 23. Okay, so in context, we are going to see in this conversation about safety instructions, safety instructions, okay? Hablábamos de directions primero. ¿Qué, qué necesitamos para directions? Prepositions of place, places, mm -hmm. and imperatives. 
Ahora, para dar instructions, ¿qué vocabulario necesitamos? What's the vocabulary we want to build? Imperatives, all right? Imperatives. So on page 23, we have this conversation. It's kind of short. Let me read it. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I'm providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. All right, what are we talking about in this conversation? Safety instructions, okay? Imperatives, let's go back. I will read this slowly. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary. And I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Okay, is there any question so far about the vocabulary in this conversation? Helmet, es casco. Yes, yes it is, this thing, yes. Los airplugs, eh, como auriculares, pero son, ajá, tapoidos. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. tapón. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Do you have your areas and your workplaces marked by, by colors or maybe with a different code? Maybe you have, um, I don't know, maybe you have, if it is not color, maybe you have um, these displays showing what room you are or maybe codes like numbers, area number one, area number two, area number three. Do you have that organization in your workplaces? Tienen las áreas de sus trabajos como marcadas por códigos, ya sea un color, específico por números Yes teacher how do you say in uh, areas peatonales uh, uh, there is that word uh, pero no, no recuerdo cómo se pronuncia eh, pero es igual que en español just give me one second I will listen to the pronunciation of that one second Mm -mm -mm. Very interesting. And what color is that? Does it have an, a color? White. Hello. Uh huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Just want to listen to the pronunciation. Mm 
Okay, the pedestrian, right? Pedestrian. But just give me one second. Pedestrian. Pedestrian, yes. Pedestrian zone. Okay, pedestrian zone. Okay, pedestrian. Pedestrian. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. There you are. There are other nouns or names uh, for that area too, but I I don't have it. But pedestrian is correct. Okay. Okay, pedestrian area or pedestrian zone. Those are that are marked on the streets, right? On the streets with these lines where people can uh, cross the street. Okay, it's a safety area. All right, is there any other question? No more questions? Okay, so let's have Rafael and Claudia, please role play the conversation. Mr. Serna. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, every boys. I am Mary and I am providing some step, step instruction today. Tell us about the Mr. Mary. Miss. Where? Miss Mary. In where I have met, I detained while between the yellow lines. I don't forget to wear the air force. I decide it is important not to get close to red areas. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, look, there are some words that we need to refine the pronunciation, okay? For example, it's a pleasure, pleasure, not pleasure, it's pleasure, all right, pleasure. And this is engineer, okay? Engineer, near, engineer. Uh, this is safety, safety engineer, safety engineer, okay? Safety engineer. Hmm. I guess providing, providing, providing. Hmm? Instru instru instructions, 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 no instructions, okay? Instructions, tra instructions. All right. And the other was all the time, all. Aquí no decimos con la. Eh, bueno, en español de España esta se llama EJ y para nosotros es LJ, ¿verdad? In English, we don't have a, a name for this. We say double L, right? All the time, all the time. Okay, I think it's okay. Then Mr. Antonio, Rafael Antonio and Eric Jose, please role play the conversation. Good night, teacher. How you doing? Great. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new flow, safest manager. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell you about the Miss Mary. Miss Mary. We are, we are married all the time while between the yellow lines and not forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Okay, aquí afinemos un poquito, Eric. Wear, wear, wear we a helmet, 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 we are helmet, helmet, okay. 
is over our heads, right? To cover our heads like this. Right? Helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. A ver, Eric, walk between walk. the yellow lines. Walk between the yellow lines. And don't forget. And don't forget. To wear the ear plugs. Or near the ear plugs. 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 Uh -huh. Ear plugs. Ear plugs. All the yeah, time. Please. All the time. Bye. Y la última parte que dice acá, aquí no es jet, aquí es get. Okay? Get. Get close. Y es get. not to get close, right? Not to get close. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. I see Henry is ready. Okay. Henry, please, with... <clears throat> I read? Yes, with Hernan. Okay. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safe engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am provide some safari and safety instruction. Instructions today. Tell us about that, Mr. Mary. Miss. Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all to die. Walk between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the airplane all the time. It's important not to get close to red areas. Very good. A ver, afinemos de regreso. Esta palabra no es pleasure. Esta es ple, pleasure. Okay? Pleasure. Pleasure. Y esta es pleasure. introduce. Introduce. No, introduce. Introduce. Mm -hmm. introduce. 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 Pleasure to introduce. Yes. It's a pleasure to introduce. Okay, to introduce. To introduce the new floor safety engineer. Engineer. Pleasure. Engineer. engineer. To introduce. Mm -hmm. Engineer. Yes. Safety engineer. Okay. engineer quiere decir ingeniero de seguridad. Introduce. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pleasure to introduce. Mm -hmm. uh, and the other was, uh, well, I don't remember the other part que les iba a corregir. No recuerdo cuál era la otra. Okay, providing, providing. Aquí no es providing, aquí es providing. Providing. Mm -hmm. providing. Providing some safety Introdu instructions. Introduction. Uh -huh. Instructions, aquí es instructions. Instruction. Yes, instructions. Instruction. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Pedro, are you there? Pedro? Hi, teacher. Okay, Carlos Roberto, are you there? Yes, teacher, I, I'm here. Okay, please role play the conversation. Okay, okay. Uh, I first? Yes, please, yes. go ahead. Okay, good, good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some safari instruction today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Wall between the yellow, yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the air plugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, remember this word is ple pleasure. All right, pleasure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, guys, we are going to the next part. In the next part, we have these 
exercise. This exercise is to achieve or to understand the directions, okay? The, um, the conversation was about instructions, but this per word is about directions, all right? How to get, um, how to give directions. But first of all, we need these vocabulary. We need places vocabulary. So let's think about these words or these area names in any facility, okay? This is Rex facilities, okay? And this diagram is Rex facilities. So we want to see the areas that there are in Rex facilities. So let's look at the names first. Production area, production area. Okay, I hope you are repeating right there. Okay, production. Production area. Yes, reception area. Mm -hmm. Reception area. Reception area. Thank you, Rafael. Planning area. Planning area. Planning area. Planning area. Manager office. Manager office. Manager office. Auditor office. Auditor, Auditor office. Auditor office. Usually it doesn't sound like ow, it sounds like oh. Auditor, something like Auditor. that, right? Auditor. Auditor. Mm -hmm. Auditor office. Auditor office. Quality control. Quality, Quality control. control. Quality it's not control. control, it's control, all right? Quality control. control. Mm -hmm. We could say maybe sometimes we use control, right? But okay, quality control, quality control. Restrooms, restrooms. Aquí no suena la T. Restrooms. Restrooms. Yeah. Restrooms. Restrooms. Mm -hmm. Restrooms. Restrooms. Exit. 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 Mm -hmm. Exit. Parking. 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 Okay. It's uh, every every area. It's labeled with a letter of the alphabet. If you see A B C D E F G H I. So in this diagram, we have marked with that letter the area. So we want to identify which area it's where, all right? So production area, where is the production area? Letter A, okay, is all this area, right? Look, this is the production area. Let's look at the reception area. What's the reception area? This is the reception area, okay? Letter B. Okay, let's look at letter C, planning area. Letter C is planning area. So it's this one, right? It's all these area. Then letter D, the manager office. Where is the manager office? Where is the manager office? It's between E and G, right? It's between E and G, okay? So it is right here, okay? Manager office. <clears throat> the auditor office, where is the auditor office? Letter E, ah, so it's right here, okay? It's next or beside manager office, right? There you are. Mm -hmm. Because if you see the doors are right one next to the other, right? So uh, let's look at the quality control office. Quality control office. F, look, have one, two, and three spaces. Look, one, two, three spaces. Maybe they have three supervisors or maybe they have three managers or maybe all these areas are full of employees doing the quality control, right? Let's look at the letter G. What's letter G? 
What's letter D? Restrooms. Restrooms. Where are the restrooms? Where are the restrooms? Here to the manager office. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, right on the corner of the building, right? Maybe there is something else over here, but I think these are the restrooms. If you see one, two, three, four, four restrooms, right? I mean, toilets. For me. Toilets. Uh, maybe uh. they have two different entrances because maybe over here and maybe over here. I don't know. Or right here. Right. We don't know. <laughs> Only for men because of the toilet things, right? <laughs> uh -huh. You're right. And here are the, um, the washers, right? Okay. So let's look at letter H. Where is letter H? Exit. What? Uh, I'm sorry. What's letter H? Exit. And where is letter H? Right here, right? Uh, it's next to the quality control area. Okay, it's next to the quality control area and it's right ahead or right ahead the parking, right? The parking. So here is the exit. Maybe this is the exit of employees, right? For employees. Yeah. And maybe the entrance is right here. They have these punchers, right? Right here. I don't know. That's just. Uh, having an idea in my mind, picture it out. Parking, where is the parking? Letter I, right here. One, two, three, four, <laughs> only four. And look at, well, maybe this is just a part of it. Maybe letter F is uh, bigger, right? Maybe letter F is bigger and maybe it continues right there, letter I. Okay, people, so now we identified the areas. Ya las identificamos, las áreas, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer ahora? Uh -huh. Vamos a ir a hacer el fair work. Okay. Y ahí tenemos un vocabulario. We have a vocabulary to give directions. Primero. Quiero que identifiquemos dos preguntas. I want you to identify two questions. Where are or where is, okay? Where are and where is, that, that's the question to ask for a location, right? For the place location. Just one second. I'll show you right now here. One moment. All right, look, <clears throat> we have two questions. We have where and we have how, okay? Voy a escribir aquí las dos preguntas que vamos a hacer, okay? Where, si es restrooms, where are the restrooms, okay? That's location, and we answer with prepositions of place. Okay, usually. Next to, between, behind, remember? Next to, between, behind, beside, right? Mm -hmm. In front of, across, okay? On the corner of, at the corner, okay? Opposite. Okay, those are prepositions of place, remember. And there is another question. How can you get? And then you say the place to the restrooms. Okay, to different things. Where are the restrooms? Uh, the restrooms are next to the manager's office, right? Or the manager office. Aha, uh -huh. okay, what's in front of the restrooms? It's, well, we have the entrance to the restrooms maybe through the reception area. Is that okay? No, right? I think it is right here. So the production area, right? So you have the access from the production area, right? Prepositions of place in front of the production area or 
on the corner of the building, right? On the corner of the building. That's good too. All right. How can you get to the restrooms? Ah, para esa pregunta, how can you get to the restrooms or to any other place? We need a reference point. We need a reference point. Where are you located? To give you the instructions, right? To give the, I'm sorry, to give you the directions how to get there. Entonces, para este ejercicio, vamos a estar acá. What place is this? This is the parking. Parking? Parking. Mm -hmm. So you are at the parking and you are going to give answers to these questions, okay? Where are the restrooms? Where is the quality control area? Where is the manager's office? Where is the exit? Bien. Cuando es plural, obviamente es where are, ¿verdad? Ahora, cuando es singular, where is, mm, vamos a poner así, quality control area, ¿ok? Aunque tenemos algunas preguntas ahí en el manual que podemos usar, ¿verdad? Y practicamos las locaciones. También vamos a practicar cómo llegar ahí. Ok, para poder responder esta pregunta, vamos a usar estos. Go straight, turn left or turn right. Ok, walk. 10 meters, 5 meters, 8 meters, all right? Y luego tenemos esta otra. Walk through the production area. Walk through the production area, okay? Are we okay so far? ¿Estamos de acuerdo? ¿Comprendemos lo que vamos a hacer? A ver, ¿quién me le hace el screenshot y lo compartimos? Please. Okay. I hope you got it. Thank you. Yes, I got it, teacher. Thank you very much. Also, this is Alejandra, right? Thank you very much, Blanca. Okay. I'm Robert. Oh, no, no, yes, yes. You are Robert, but oh. someone sent it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, someone okay. sent the, the screenshot. I'm sorry if you felt that I was confused. No, I wasn't confused. I know that it was Carlos Roberto, right? Okay, no, no, yeah. Yes, definitely. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, I will stop sharing and we are going to the breakout rooms. I see it is nine o'clock, saved by the bell, right? <laughs> Salvado por la campana. So um, I will call the roll. So please everybody get ready. Everybody get ready. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Teacher, we are ready. You ready? Okay, Andrea Sofía Benítez Gómez. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Present. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present teacher. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Present teacher. Elenilson Aparicio del Cid. Present teacher. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present teacher. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. I see you present, present. teacher. All right. Henry Alberto Perez Rosales. Okay, present Carlos teacher. Ernesto. Thank you, Henry. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Present, teacher. Okay. Javier Antonio Cortés Martínez. Ah, I always forget. Juan Francisco Salmeron Alas. No, Juan, tonight? Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Magdiel Esau García Morales. Present teacher. 
Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher. Rafael. Eh, Karen, Karen Brock, she is a listener. As a listener, tonight. okay. Thank you very much, Rafael. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Present teacher. Okay. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Rosa del Carmen Santa Maria Tobar. No Rosa tonight. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. José Abel Izaguirre Mendoza. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay, I think because uh, today is Friday, we have these attendance percentage, right? Okay. And our bar is knowing. I'm sorry, if it is knowing? And our bar is knowing. Ah, our bar is, all right, all right. All right, yeah, I know, I know. Okay. Sí, pero después ahí están que, ay, que fíjese que yo tengo esta emergencia y ahora ya es un día, ya con ese día ya no alcanzo el porcentaje. Entonces, eso sí me preocupa porque no hay manera de ayudarles en ese caso, ¿verdad? Porque se cuentan los minutos conectados, eso sí me preocupa. Ok, vamos a ver entonces, nos vamos a ir a los breakout rooms. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a ir a hacer? Recuérdenme. Give an instruction uh, to get in some place. Okay, to give directions, right? To give directions and also the locations, giving locations and giving directions. Okay. Vaya, cuando ya tengan listo eso, ustedes lo practican, ¿ok? Pregunta, respuesta, pregunta, respuesta. All right. Uh, Blanca también está de oyente, Karen está de oyente. ¿A quién tengo más de oyente ahorita? A Hazel tengo de oyente. Hazel. Rafael, I guess. Rafael está de oyente también. Ok. Entonces vamos a hacer los grupos grandes para que, pero siempre los que están de oyentes vayan a los grupos para que puedan escuchar todo el contenido, ok, de lo que sus compañeros están haciendo. Good evening. Good evening. ¿Quién pudiera compartir la, la actividad? 
Alguien que esté en alguna compu. Give me a moment, please. Ok. Excelente. You can say the sharing. Yes. Yes, yes. Very good. I can watch. Hello, Carlos Ernesto. Join your room. Please join, Carlos. They are, they are located in the corner. Mm -hmm. Next to the manager, uh, manager office. Pardon. I can see very well the letter of the picture, but in that case, in the corner of what? Uh, sería la esquina inferior derecha inferior derecha cuando the hacemos corner. esto ubicamos eh, in the corner of en la esquina de y mencionamos si hay una calle o en el caso como veo que son cuartos habitaciones tendría que ser in the corner of the restroom in the corner of the dining room Oh, mm -hmm. in the corner of the bedroom, depending of the place and the start. Okay. 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 Um, in this case, that. we can say uh, in the right corner? Yeah, but in the corner, Next to or right is, uh, about in la, a la derecha de or next to next to the manager office reception. This is this is letter B, right? Reception. In, next to the reception or in the corner of reception? Yeah, or in front of production area. Yes. Too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, but uh, I got a quick question. Uh, we have to make a. Or, or we have to write down these sentences or. I don't know. Yes, please. Okay. Hey. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Bueno, Tenemos que hacer la, 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 
Las oraciones como llegar. Exacto. Primero okay. escribir la pregunta, where are the restrooms? The restrooms. Y después dar la instrucción. To give the instruction. And after that, you give the directions, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Directions, okay. Mm -hmm. Where are the restrooms? Where are the restrooms? No sé si voy escuchando bien, pero en el caso podría ser through the highway, to, uh, next to the reception. No sé, un ejemplo. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you, Karen. Yeah, eh, pero ese es como llego ahí, ¿verdad? How you can get there. Exacto. Eh, la primera pregunta sería... Sí, así es. Es la forma de cómo llegar, atravesando el pasillo okay. en la esquina de la recepción, uh -huh. por ejemplo. Ajá. Sí, voy a anotar para... Teacher, una consulta. Hello. Eh, no sabe dónde está la puerta, no sé si es aquí o es aquí. Um, well, that's a very good point. No, I think it is right here because it says reception area. I think it is... Um, I cannot go in. No le puedo decir, señalárselo, but I uh -huh. think it is right here, uh, if, I mean, to the left, right? No, to the right of the parking, okay? To the right of the parking, not letter H, is the exit, right? So then, mm -hmm. yes, the other um, direction. It is, I think it is right this big rectangle, right? that it's divided into four things. Maybe that's the, that's the, um, the entrance, yeah, to letter B. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yes, you can access through maybe um, through, through the production area, maybe, right? You have maybe a hole right there. You have a hole, so through the production area or next to, in front of the production area, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got it? This big yes. rectangle divided in four, I think this is the entrance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Quiero ver. Esa creo que es la entrada esta. Donde marqué. 
Uh -huh. Vamos a mandé, que... mandé, mandé el WhatsApp con este, ya específicamente qué área es, pero... Sí, yo creo que hay un dice Eric que es la entrada. Pareciera ser que es pared, una esquinita. Es que ese es como una, como una cuneta, porque en los planos no se marcan así las, las puertas. En realidad se marca así, como ahí donde yo les encerré. Uh -huh. Pero lo único que, eh, como que estuviese cerrada. Uh -huh. Porque si te fijas, ahí donde está la vez, la recepción, de serie de recepción, y luego hay como una puerta abierta para seguir. Bueno, casi lo mismo donde dice Ari, ¿verdad? Pero uh -huh. sí, esa es como una puneta. Aquí hay ah, eh. Ajá, por ahí. No, ahí, cabal, uh -huh. lo rojo. Aquí, cabal. Ahí. Cabal, por ahí. Uh -huh. yeah. Go train. Turn left. Well, ten mirrors. Well, the production area. Yo creo que para llegar a restroom se agregaría turn right, turn, uh -huh. turn on your right, eh, well, and walk 10 meters. No, no, sí. uh, ajá, ok. Sí, en mirrors y ya entra ya a ver cómo 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 Recepción hay a recepción área. Is B. Ah, como que no se ve muy bien ahí la letra. Este es recepción área, que ahí no se ve nota bien. Uh -huh. No, ajá, es por eso bien. mandé en el, en, el, en, el, en el WhatsApp, mandé también uh -huh. el cross que del, del, del manual. Pero sí, ah, sí, ok. Sí, sí, cierto. Sí, sí. Ah, sí. Ah, recepción. Reception area. Go straight to the reception area. Turn on your left. No. Es que depende de la entrada. ¿o? Porque si estás entrando de ese lado, según el dibujito rojo, la línea roja, Estás yendo siempre go straight. Mm. Sí, que por ahí ya está. Vamos a hacerlo sí, así. Lo que dice Pedro tiene razón. Que aquí tiene ahí, que, que ver una red. Ajá. Entra aquí. Entra aquí. Aquí esta es la... Ah, vaya, entonces sería, se ajá, vaya, si ponemos, go straight to the reception area, y ya al llegar a, a la recepción de área le, le decimos, go walk through the reception area, o sea, que atraviese el área de recepción, porque lo va a atravesar prácticamente. Mm -hmm. ¿Verdad? De allí... Al llegar al, a, ¿cómo se llama? A la letra A. Uh, production area. Production area. Uh -huh. Door on your right. And walk 10 meters, por decirlo así. Uh -huh. Ok. Um.
Okay, uh, class, you have to write your answer, okay? Write yes, your yes. direction. So you are going to say, for example, if you say go through the reception area, all right, and then you say walk or turn uh, right and walk um, five meters right to the top or on the corner, right, or walk through the production area, anything that you are going to say, you are going to write it down, all right? Teacher, y para decir hasta, para hasta llegar, mm -hmm. por decirlo así, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. eh, en, el, en, el, en, este, en este punto, por lo menos, que es el que estamos viendo en los restrooms, mm -hmm. pues estamos diciendo que atraviesa recepción, eh, ir a su derecha hasta llegar. ¿Cómo le ponemos ahí? Hasta llegar al restroom. Ok, uh, el asunto es que ese es nuestro concepto, ¿verdad? En, uh -huh. en el concepto de inglés sería eh, la locación del lugar. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. eh, no dice hasta llegar, aunque hasta llegar significa when you get, ok? Until you uh -huh. get. Uh, y usted dice, you get the red door, then you go through, right? Maybe. Uh, uh -huh. Pero el concepto es como usted le dice hasta llegar al baño. No, usted va a decir, the bathrooms are right on the corner or right on the bottom of the building, right? Um, yeah, at the end of the hall, right? At the end of the hall. So we are saying the location. No decimos hasta el tope, hasta el final, o, o eso en English. Decimos la locación del lugar. Pero, ¿cómo le decimos a la persona que ese es el lugar? Ah, then you say, uh, it is, uh -huh. okay, it is uh, on the corner of the building, okay? Or it is right at the top of the building. It is right at the end of the hall. Pero está diciéndole la, el, el lugar de la locación o el donde está ubicado, o sea, donde permanece uh -huh. el asunto, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. uh, teacher, I have the question. Eh, está, está en esta descripción, por ejemplo, para el uh, restroom. Uh -huh. eh, you enter in reception, uh -huh. eh, go straight in the second door, uh -huh. to right, and the end you will find them. Okay, can you repeat the last one? You go. Eh, you enter in reception, uh -huh. go straight in the second door uh -huh. to right and the end you will find then okay que le encuentre. Um, <laughs> no, sí, no 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 at the that. end you will find it oh, okay but that's different all right that's different okay. uh at the end you will find it at the end at you will end. find it tiene otro sentido okay? okay al final usted lo va a encontrar como sea le está diciendo ahí entonces um, <laughs> sería al <laughs> revés, sería al revés, okay, sería al revés. The restroom is at the end of the hall, for example, al final del pasillo, right? At the oh, end okay. of the hall, ahí ya diríamos que sí. O at the end of the building, okay, ahí ya estamos dando como el tope del, del lugar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. At the end, uh, ajá, ese cabal es que ese era el punto. ¿Cómo decirle okay. que llegó okay. a ese punto? On the hall. Okay. On the hall. Wilber, uh -huh. para decirle que, que, el, que hasta que llegue a, eh, uh -huh. le digo, la expresión es when you get there, o when you get y da el punto, ok, eh, que va a llegar. Pero como en este caso, uh -huh. no estamos diciendo eso, ¿verdad? estamos diciendo que al fin o al final del edificio está el baño, ¿verdad? Entonces, usted da la locación del asunto. The bathroom is at the end of the hall. O the bathroom is esa parte. The bathroom is, ahí es el final de su eh, direction. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Vaya, si usted va a decir final del edificio, final del pasillo, final es end. Puede ser también bottom, ok? Bottom, al fondo, right? Bueno. Top, top, 
al, también es como tope. al tope. Ajá. Pero top también se entiende que usted va a subir todo el edificio, todas las gradas y va a ir hasta ahí arriba. Ok, entonces eh, con ese de top hay que tener cuidado. ¿verdad? Entonces es más bottom para decir al fondo. O oh. okay. at the end, at the end of the building. Ok. 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 Tenemos la palabra también hasta que les puede servir Wilber para esa parte porque eh, me refiero a Wilber porque él me estaba preguntando eso pero es para todos, ¿ok? Um, es until, until, remember hasta, ¿se acuerdan de esa palabra? Until, ¿ok? Yes. Uh -huh. Until the red door, until the sliding door, until and then you say, right? Uh -huh. Until you see the sign, ok? Hasta que ya se mira por ahí el rótulo, ok? Ok. There you, you are. See the sign. Mm -hmm. Ya está un poquito más. Yeah. Mm -hmm. bueno. Continue. Now about the quality control. Where is it? Quality control. Um... Quality control, quality control. Hmm. Letter F. Yes, letter F. Yeah, letter F, I don't know, I don't know if, if I can say. Three income spaces. In come at a protection area and walk, walk through to the production area. Uh, turn on your left. Mm. Eh, bye. ahí acuérdense turn left or turn right no turn on your en este caso es turn left or turn right mm. o sea que si le digo turn on your left es que aquí es sobre sí mismo ajá ok guiding by uh, ajá lo estoy right. mareando <laughs> <laughs> we'll be uh -huh. yeah you got it Eric imagine yeah turning yeah. over your own oh my like a pin right <laughs> all right but you are doing a very good job guys continue on going to check another group all right okay thank you to you Como imagen la estaría insertando, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo? Como imagen la estaría insertando. Ajá. Ok. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. How's it going? Mm. Okay, uh, just let me make an observation about, I mean, your uh, sentence. It says the restrooms. Mm. No, it's, no, it's there are. No, no, it's, it's not correct. No, 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 no. No. Only are, yeah, only are, but if you are giving the location, for example, the restrooms are on the corner of the building, right? Or maybe the, mm, the restrooms are behind the reception area, okay? Or the restrooms are 
next to the manager's office, all right? Allí diríamos are. Uh, now, if we give the direction, then we say the restroom. Uh, podemos empezar. The restrooms are on the corner, right, of the building. Uh, then you say torn right of reception area. Mm, ¿en, dónde, ¿En dónde cruzaron a la derecha? Por esa puerta que está al final, by the door that is right at the end or behind the, the letter B. Okay, there, where you, are, where you are pointing, all right? So you have to go through the entrance first, right? You have to walk into the reception area, walk into the reception area, okay? Go, oh, puede decir, um, uh, torn right, uh -huh. torn right, and turn right, Bueno, les queda bien. The restrooms are on the corner, turn right, right of the reception area. Okay. Ajá. Pero no podemos decir the restrooms are turn right. Okay. Are no entraría. Ni the restrooms. Ni the restrooms. Ajá. Solamente turn right. Ajá. Turn right of reception area. Ajá. Está bien, entonces así. Sí, realmente así queda súper bien, ¿ok? Pero eh, como son dos preguntas las que estamos practicando, es where is and how to get there, right? Where is it? Next to the manager office, right? And how can I get there? Turn right from the reception area, right? You got okay. it. Por eso veíamos las dos preguntas. Miren arriba. Where are the restrooms? And how can you get to the restrooms? Okay? Teacher, ¿cómo podríamos iniciar otra forma de iniciar la respuesta de how can I get to, para decir, you, uh -huh. need, you need to go on the street? Podría ser así. Uh, yes, you can use any. You can use you need or please, right? Or yeah, you can say anything uh, related to being more polite. But you can use the imperatives, right? The imperative, and it is not a problem. For example, you have to. You have to go on the street. Mm -hmm. For example, podemos usarlo así. Si usted para... dice, for example. Ajá, no, digamos, para decir, um, you have to, tú necesitas. Eh, yes, you... correct, correct. You can use you need to, you have to. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You may, you may go, you may turn right, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. Okay. Yes, okay. of course, you can use an introductory like uh, expression like those being more polite. Yes, of course. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, entonces, ¿cómo vamos a contestar? Where are the restrooms? The restrooms are... Mm -hmm. The restrooms are... Next to the manager's next office. Next to the manager office. Okay. And mm -hmm. then, how can I get there? Torn right of the reception area. Okay? Okay. There you are, guys. Okay. What about the quality control? Quality control. Mm -hmm. The quality control. The quality control room are behind the planning area. Are you sure it is behind? Mm. A 
uh, remember that it is, I mean, the, the, the locations are related where the entrance is, right? Mm -hmm. Entonces, si le entendí bien, teacher, esta es la pregunta uno y la pregunta dos, ¿cómo llegar? Uh -huh. Exacto. Okay. How can you get to?
<laughs> uh -huh. Tell me, how was this activity? Nice, right? Very important. Because in the Spanish, it's kind of difficult to say, I mean, to give directions too, right? In Spanish, mm, mire, vaya por aquí recto. Va, mire, pero va a encontrar, no, mejor ahí no, mejor venga por este lado. Okay, it's kind of difficult because of our culture. Por nuestra cultura no hemos sido como eh, entrenados, ¿verdad? En eso. We're not trained in giving directions. Maybe because all the city is a big mess, ¿verdad? Toda la ciudad es un gran desorden. We don't have this um, um, signs and numbers and directions correctly. Maybe, maybe it's that the reason why this topic is kind of difficult. Pero imagínense, ayer platicaba con Rafael Antonio. Ayer platicaba con Rafael Antonio y, and his occupation is, uh, he's a driver, right? He, he works for a transportation company. And he's so um, trained how to give the directions to the places in San Salvador because he knows he's moving everywhere, right? He's moving everywhere. But maybe we are not, maybe we don't go out so often, right? So that's why maybe, maybe, right? So now guys, let's go and check this. ¿Cómo les fue? A ver, cuéntenme. Hello? Nosotros solo logramos hacer una completa, dudando, y la segunda la estábamos completando, dudando. Okay, no problem. No problem. We are building the vocabulary, okay? We are building the vocabulary. Estamos construyendo el vocabulario y ustedes en este momento practicaron, okay? You practiced. Now you have the idea, right? Now you have the idea. I will stop sharing because I don't like this way of sharing. And we have, well, I have two examples only, right? I have only two examples and you are going to give me the next ones, all right? So the first one, if we talk about the restaurants, okay? If we talk about, uh, about the restrooms, how to get to the restrooms, then we say, for example, for example, go through that reception area. Y ahí es el autocorrector el que pone la tilde. He luchado para que no me la ponga y me la vuelve a poner, okay? Go through the reception area and turn right. The restrooms are next to the manager's office or the manager office. Okay. Vamos a ver. Um, para quality control. Okay. Turn left, walk 10 meters past the planning area and turn right. Okay. Turn right. Quality control is behind the planning area. There is a door. There is a door right here. Okay. There is a door. If you see, I don't know if this is a door, this one, do you see? Maybe I can say instead of behind, I can say beside, or I can say next to also, okay? In front of, okay? If I say, for example, turn right, walk 10 meters and there you are. No, not exactly because the area starts from here, and it goes maybe four offices more. We don't know, right? So yeah, we can say only turn right and a reference that the planning area is next to it, right? Next to it. It could be behind if this is not a door. Maybe the door is right here. If I go through here, si me voy por aquí, if I go through here, Entonces, ¿por dónde tengo que entrar? A ver, los que son ingenieros, oía Pedro eh, que dio una buena explicación acerca de las puertas. Pedro, come on, tell me. 
tell me. Digamos que yo entro por la, el área de recepción, recepción, all right? I go through the reception area, okay? And then I'm right here, right? Then I turn left, okay? Or do I walk right here? What do you think? Do I walk right here or do I walk over here? ¿Por dónde se fueron ustedes? Ajá. Uh -huh. Walk through the production area or turn left. ¿Cómo se fueron ahí para quality control ustedes? A ver, compañeritos, help. Esa es la que estábamos construyendo. Okay. Que el compañero Eric mandó en el chat. Eh, y yo lo tengo en el cuaderno. Porque a mí me está costando ahorita con, porque no tengo la computadora. Me está con la tablet. Me está costando bastante. Ok. Pero, okay. ¿Se pero fueron no... walk through o se fueron turn left? Uh, walk through. Ok, very good. Uh -huh. Walk through. Um, walk through the production the... area. Ajá. Uh -huh. the... Yes, walk through the production area, uh, mm -hmm. then uh, turn left, mm -hmm. uh, walk, uh, uh, walk through five meters mm -hmm. uh, to the, uh, the, the planning area, the planning area, mm -hmm. turn your, le turn your, turn right. Okay, turn right, come uh, here. Uh -huh. uh, then you will turn see right the here. Side. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. You will see the, the... Uh -huh. uh, quality control is quality right control. in front of it. If you come this way, right? If you come this way, it's in front of the planning area. If this is a door, right? If this is mm -hmm. a door. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think it is because it, it doesn't have the thing like the angle that shows the door, but I think this is a door. Yeah, I want to imagine that, all right? Okay. Okay, so if I say, uh, go past the planning area and then you say, turn right, not exactly turn right because you right, you got there, right there. So you say planning, I mean, the quality control is right in front of the planning area or quality control is next to the planning area, all right? Got it? But you did a very good job, guys. You did a very good job. Don't get frustrated. Don't get frustrated, all right? No, no se me frustren. Esto es uno de los temas que a los salvadoreños nos cuesta un poquitito más que a otras culturas, okay? Un poquitito. Ya pronto and nosotros English, lo vamos a hacer. Spanish teacher. Well, in English and in Spanish, yes. You're right. Uh huh. Now imagine I'm talking by myself. I'm not talking about the other women here, but for women, it's really, I mean, because of me, for me, it's very difficult. Okay. This topic, um, sometimes I, I uh, pass three times in front of the place and I don't know that the place was there. All right. So that's me. That's me. <laughs> and you're telling me, maybe someone is telling me, it's right there, it's right there. And, and I say, mm, no, it is not. <laughs> because, uh, well, it's kind of difficult for me to understand directions too. But, I must, but my husband, oh, he's so good at this. He's so good at this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's so good at giving directions. Yeah. Okay, people. So now we are going to continue with this. The next, uh, exa I mean, the next example that I had was, th was this one, right? Quality control is behind the planning area if, if it didn't have the door that side, right? Acordémonos que la dirección o la locación del objeto depende de hacia dónde está su frente, ¿verdad? Hacia dónde está el frente. A partir de eso, de dónde está la puerta, es behind or in front of, right? Okay, people. So now let's answer these questions 
in a few minutes, okay? How many areas are there in REX facilities? How many areas are there in REX facilities? There are nine areas. Nine areas. Okay. Nine areas. Very good. Is there a financial office in these facilities? Yes or no? Yes, it yes, mm -hmm. there is. Yes, there uh -huh. is. Yes. Or no, there isn't, right? In this case, no, yes, there, there is. Mm -hmm. No, there isn't. Okay, yes, there is, or mm -hmm. no, there, there isn't. isn't. All right, are you sure? Yes. How many quality control offices are there? Um. There are three uh, men, three quality control offices. There are three quality Okay, we don't need the capitalization here, but I did it. Okay. Now, is there an auditor office? Yes, there is. All right. Yes, there is. All right. So now we know how to answer. Um, this is an information question, but this is related to amounts. Remember how many it's related to amounts. Okay, amounts, countable nouns, countable nouns use how many, all right? Okay. Bye. Ahora solo quiero, eh, tenemos un minutito, solo quiero eh, mostrarles en el manual tenemos el siguiente uh, la siguiente aclaración el tema que van a ver en este video es it's not allowed ok how to use it's not allowed pero para poder desarrollar eso necesitábamos saber las áreas de la compañía y las reglas que hay en las diferentes áreas ok por eso comenzamos por esto entonces iría prácticamente en dos partes Ok, eh, vamos a ver qué hay en el manual. La última parte. Ok, the last part on page 24. Okay. On page 24. It says, a group of visitors is coming to Rex facilities. A ver, ¿por qué group of visitors decimos is y no are? Porque lo que manda ahí es la palabra en singular de grupo. Exactly. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. All right. A group. Okay. A group. Remember, singular and plural. We have to be careful with that to the, um, to the verb agreement. Now, it's coming to Rex facilities. Explain to them the set of basic rules and safety instructions for visitors in a courteous, I'm sorry, in a courteous way. This courteous way is these, the courtesy. Remember, we use should, for example, to say advice, all right? We use could to say a possibility. You say can to uh, ask for information, right? And to um, um, give a possibility of doing something too, okay? As a possibility. And that makes this more polite, okay? That makes this more polite. Uh, it's not that when you give the instructions, you are always doing that because when you give instructions, you use imperatives. So you can just give the imperative and it is not a problem, but we want to, but we want to be polite, okay? That is why we are going to practice the polite language here, okay? And the instructions are these ones, okay? Are these ones. 
Yo creo que esta la haríamos en la próxima clase. Lo que sí quiero que hagan es esto. En la siguiente actividad dice, uh, you have to memorize, okay, memorize the safety instructions, okay, in an emergency situation, okay, in an emergency situation. In this case, maybe it could be a fire or maybe it could be any accident, all right? But these are the instructions we want to memorize, okay? Memorize. So during the weekend, you can do that. Memorize these instructions, all right? During the weekend, you memorize these instructions, correct? Okay. Is it good? Okay. Uh, or, or okay. It's a mistake. <laughs> I'm sorry? The number four. Tell me. What there happened is a mistake. There is a mistake. Tell me. There is a mistake. <laughs> yes. Yes. Because it, it is the, um, yeah. If it is a fire, you, you don't have to use it, right? Okay. Don't use. Yeah. Don't use. You're right. Thank you very much and for the cry. observation. Don't use and cry. I'm sorry. Don't cry. <laughs> Don't use and cry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So please memorize them. And then the next class, we are going to work over it. All right. So guys, please get ready. I will take the attendance. I will check the list, please. Turn cameras on and say present. Andrea Sofía Benítez Gómez, Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez, Carlos Ernesto Pérez, Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Hey, say present, guys. Say present. Present, teacher. Okay. Claudia uh, Yamilet Coreas. Present, teacher. Ellen Nilsson Aparicio del Cid. Present, teacher. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present, teacher. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Thank you, Hazel. Present teacher. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Present teacher. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. I'm here, I'm here. All right. Maidele Saú García Morales. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. I am here, teacher. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Okay, Carlos Ernesto. Thank you. Rosa del Carmen Santa Maria Tobar. Uh, she's on an activity, right? Uh, Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present, teacher. Jose Abelis Aguirre Mendoza. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Okay, to, tonight's turn for the session one on one. Sorry. All right, Rafael Antonio. Uh, it's for Hazel. Hazel, are you able to stay with me in the session one on one? I don't think so, right? But tell me, Hazel. The opportunity is available for you tonight. At least through the chat, tell me. And it is a teacher. I'm sorry? Ellen Nilsson. Ah, oh, Ellen Nilsson. Uh-huh. Yes. Ooh, it is, it is, from, it is, from the front. Fail the face, you the Ellen Nilsson for you. <laughs> All right. It's a uh, joke. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Let's look at this one. Uh, it's Henry, the next one. Hen Henry, do you want to stay with me? Would you? Yes, it's Friday. Uh, because and it's Friday. Right now, I stay. Uh, all I right. Stay. There you are. So we are having something, right? We are having something to drink tonight. All right. So, <laughs> okay. Everybody, please do your homework. Memorize the instructions for an emergency, emergency situation. See you Monday. Have a very good weekend. Bye, teacher. Have a good weekend. Uh, 
Teacher, Henry se quedará, ¿verdad? Yes, Henry is staying. Yes, ah, okay. Okay, uh, and did, another did you want... opportunity. Uh, well, yes, but, but in, a, in another... But look, Roberto, uh, you have a question about the homework or something? Yes, and to uh -huh. the... Yes, and all the other things. But oh. if you... Pero, uh, right. Another opportunity. Okay, but you can send me a text too, all right? You can send me a text. Okay. Don't worry, do it. Okay. All right. All right, no problem, Carlos. Carlos Ernesto is as a listener tonight. He's working, I think. I will send it over there. All right, Henry, here we are. How are you doing? I want to play a game. <laughs> Do you want to play a game? <laughs> Right now, okay. Do you have one? <laughs> but those of guns and death, no, no, I don't like those war games. No, I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh, okay. Cry and what did you say? Es, el, es de la película este de, de Sao. Ah, no. Ah, pues no. No sé ni qué película es. I don't know that. Ajá. The movie. Ajá. Uh -huh. Los lo juegos lo juego de mierda. Oh, uh, the Hunger Games. No, esos son los juegos del hambre. Ajá, ajá. ¿Y entonces el otro? Los juegos del mierda en español, pero en inglés, ah. en inglés se llamaba Sao. Ok. Ah, uh, Soul, Soul. Yeah, horror oh. movie. It's, is that a horror movie? Yes. I, oh, I don't it, like horror uh, movies. It's a, it's a popular, popular, where is it say, frase? Popular, uh -huh. uh, frase popular? Uh, I don't, yeah. I want to play a game. Ah, I want to <laughs> play a game. All right. All right. Now I get it. Thank you for explaining that to me. Now I'm going to, you know, Take note. <laughs> I want to play a game. Oh, all right. Okay, like this. I, 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 I okay. I will look it up. I will look it up. Right now, I'm going to do it. All right. But do you have? <laughs> <laughs> do you have any question, Henry? I want. Eh, to... Honestamente, no he hecho la tarea esta semana. No tengo uh -huh. una pregunta, pero sí vi que los, algunos compañeros estaban poniendo de que había problemas con una, con una de, las, mm, yes. eh, de las preguntas, pero era la plataforma. Yes. Entonces, creo que ahí me, antes de que para cuando yo llegue ya me resolvieron el problema. Entonces. Ok, yes. Pero because... fuera de eso, teacher, uh -huh. creo que lo único que le puedo decir es lo mismo que le dije en el... En el, en el no sé, man, en el módulo anterior. O sea, uh -huh. lo que yo necesito es practicar. Yes, of course, of course, of course. Oh, it says so, so, it's not so, it's so. Ah, now I got it. Do you want to play a game? All right. I want to play a game. Oh my God. Let me, let me play. I want to play a game. All right. <laughs> oh, now I got it. Hey, if you didn't explain that to me, I believe me, I would never, I would never know about it because I don't see that kind of movies. <laughs> All right. You can say it. You can say it. Yeah, now I'm going to say that with all of you. I want to play a game. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Like the music of, of this um, movie. No, 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 that's Sorry. no, that's the other one. That's dun, 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 dun. no, no, that's not. Uh, this is drums. Ah, uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh huh. Uh -huh. La del cuchillo. 
Uh, no, 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 no. No, this is another game. This is another game. This is for kids where where Dwayne Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Uh, it's a it's a fam familiar movie. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. This is a familiar movie. Uh, it's uh, it's for kids. It's for kids. Uh, I I one second, one second. I don't yeah. like family movies. Uh, don't you? Well, I have to. I have to I because know. I have, yeah, I, my daughters, imagine 14 years old and four years old. Yeah. So yeah, I have to. But imagine yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't I don't I don't have child. Uh, uh children. Children. I don't have children. children. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. Okay. Or I don't have kids. Puede decir mejor. I don't have kids. Mm -hmm. I don't have kids. Yes, I don't have kids. Any kids. <laughs> yeah, because maybe you have the kids of your wife, right? So now you have to say, yeah, I the, don't have kids of my own, <laughs> right? Ahora como que hay que hacer mucho this, this is my song. This is my song. It's a, it's a dog. It's a oh, dog. This is my okay. song. It's a cat. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> then those are your kids. Any <laughs> All right, all right. So you are a father, but of a dog and a cat. <laughs> it's a it's a millennial millennial generation. Gen oh yeah, <laughs> yes. It's a different family. All right. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, guys. Okay, Henry. Uh, I was going to. Uh, Jumanji, Jumanji, Jumanji. That song, when they hear the song, the game start. Yeah, when they hear the drums like that, right? Then everybody's like, oh, what's going to happen, right? So yeah, Jumanji. Mm -hmm. I, I saw that movie maybe uh, because of my kids about eight or 10 times, right? <laughs> Yeah, about eight or 10 times, yes. Mm -hmm. Imagine uh, Tangled, Enredados, uh, Rapunzel, yeah. Oh, I saw uh, it over and no, over again. I don't know. Maybe I saw it without stopping mm, for a month, every day, every day. So day and night. But, but but I, I understand, I understand you uh -huh. because in, in all, all years, all years, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> my sister, my sister see the movie say Maniki. Oh, okay. I don't remember say, uh, calling in, in English, but this, this is, this is cassette playing today. The mannequin, okay. Day uh -huh. a day. All right. Every day, day after it, day. Every, every day, every day, play this movie. All right. <laughs> Tanto que nos aprendimos los diálogos de la película y era la favorita. <laughs> this is a, this is a favorite, favorite movie, movie. For, for my oh sister. My <laughs> Dora the Explorer, Dora the Explorer, the life picture i mean the live movie oh it was oh my god mm, over and over again right i know some of the <laughs> dialogues but i try to i try to make this uh this is like an exercise right i forget i forget about the things but when i'm watching the movie I can recall them, right? I can recall them, but during the day, well, in my activities, I, I don't know. I can't remember them. Yeah, it's a kind of exercise I do. <laughs> yeah, imagine Dora the Explorer and the other one. Ah, no, uh, you, you will be surprised with this. My daughter, my 14 years old daughter, she is in love with the um, uh, uh, Julie Andrews movies. Okay, Julie Julie Andrews movies, I old movies, old movies. I don't know this. 
Julie Andrews. Julie Andrews. Yeah, the English, uh, the English woman. This is, for example, they, uh, um, this girl, uh, Mary Poppins. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, Mary Poppins and uh, what's the name of La Novicia Rebelde? I don't know, she's not here now. Uh, I will tell you. When I see old movies, I see the creatures, gremlins. <laughs> Oh, really? Uh, no. Eraser. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Movie, 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 movie. Oh, my God. But I, I don't like these movies. That... The Sound of Music. The Sound of Music. Es la novicia rebelde. That's la novicia rebelde. The Sound of Music. She knows all the dialogues. She knows the, all the stories of all the characters. She knows everything about that movie and she loves it. And she has been seeing this movie from when she was nine years old, nine years old. And she- Nine years. Yes, now she's 14. Now she's 14. Can you imagine? So when we say, hey, let's watch a movie. Mm, and, and she said, the sound of music. <laughs> Everybody says, no. <laughs> yeah, because we are kind of tired of it, all right? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. But, but I tell you, when, when I see old movies, mm -hmm. I see the mm -hmm. uh, uh, Langoliers, is that Stephen King. Okay. Well, Stephen King. I see. Has, has I see Donnie Don Darko. It's a, it's a old movie. Dark. Or Dart. Donnie Darko. Uh, I don't know. And and my favorite old movies is uh, the 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 secret of the in Spanish is El Secreto del Abismo. Oh, okay. So, so you like English, that kind of movies? Say... <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. But in English, uh, say called called is uh, abis, abismo. Oh, okay. Huh. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. So abyss, abyss. abyss. Oh my God. Huh. You <laughs> like horror movies, say eh? come on. How come? How come? Yes, or por qué? How come? But but only classic. It's, it's, it's a classic movie. Oh, okay. The, okay. the new horror movie, I, I don't like the new horror movie. Don't you? Why? Why is that? No, the, it's a, the new the El Conjuro, uh -huh. The Ring. Uh -huh. I don't like this movie. But did you see them? Did what? you what? did you watch those movies? And that's why you said yes, you don't I, I watch them. I watch I watch mm. some. I watch some. But mm -hmm. I don't like it. I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't like the, the story, the, the no. production. No. Realization. Princip principal stories. Uh, no. It's boring. Right? I, I no encuentro sentido de la, de la, de la trama. No, no, no. Uh, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say it with me, Henry. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Uh huh. It doesn't make sense. Uh huh. It's not credible, right? It's not credible. Mm hmm. Yes, you can, and there is another there is another idiom i don't buy it i don't buy it i don't buy it means no les creo esa no me gusta o sea no i don't buy it right i, I don't, don't buy, buy it, it. Mm -hmm. i don't buy that story i don't buy that story i don't like it right mm -hmm. that's an idiom that you can use when you talk about anything right anything that you don't like anything that you don't want then you say i don't buy it 
I don't buy it. Mm -hmm. Don't buy, buy, like comprar, right? Buy it. I don't buy. No la compro. I don't buy. Yes, but it's not no la compro. It's is that it's not credible, it's not a good thing, right? Uh and you are not convinced about that thing is good, right? So I don't buy it. I don't believe it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> good. Mm -hmm. Good. Ahora right. le tengo que hacer la pregunta, o sea, ya que yo no le tengo que preguntar de la clase, dígame usted a mí qué, qué tengo, oh. qué, okay. a dónde me voy, qué mejor o qué hago. Well, I see that you need some more vocabulary so, because you know how to structure some sentences, right? You know how to structure, for example, present simple, right? I hear, I, I hear you right now uh, when you tell a story, um, you have to use the past simple tense, right? The past simple tense. Remember that when you tell a story, you have to. And the only way to express the simple past tense you have to memorize the verbs, all right? You have to memorize the verbs. So you need vocabulary. You need vocabulary, okay? That's the thing that you need exactly is that. But, mm, well. Okay. Mm. I bought, a, <laughs> I bought a, a book for oh, practice. Did you buy it? All right. Well, I. I uh, I wasn't able to see it because it was like um, blurry. It was blurry. So I couldn't define what book it was. If you can send me the picture, it will be okay. Then I can I can tell you mm, mm, something about that book. But right now I couldn't, I couldn't get what book it was. All right. And the other thing is that for example, if you miss a class, if you miss a class, my best tip is go back to the video conference. There you can get the vocabulary that you are missing. So you are not going to have these holes, right? Empty holes, yeah. And you are not going to connect one topic with the other topic. So please go back to the videos. Uh, some people tell me, I don't know if you're, um, I don't know if you have uh, have thought about this in this way. Uh, people tell me, mm, how can I get how can I get more vocabulary? And they say, I'm going to watch movies in English. I'm going to listen to music, and I'm going to um, okay, fill in books, right, I or study with, with books, right. I'm going to watch video, I mean, YouTube videos. Maybe I'm going to read books. I'm going to, et cetera. Any activity is good to improve your vocabulary. But the thing is, the thing is, Henry, use the vocabulary that you have got at this moment in the classes. For example, the present simple tense, the simple past tense, the um, present continuous, all right? And get them for topics. Agárrelos por temas, okay? Agárrelos por temas para que los pueda desarrollar y los pueda usar. ¿Por qué le digo esto, Henry? Porque a veces me dicen todos, mire, yo oigo música, yo veo películas, yo veces, etc. etcétera. Pero no mejora. Ok, pero no mejora. ¿Por qué? Porque la mira así en general. Ok, pero si yo la voy viendo focalizada, parte por parte, cosas que me interesan, por ejemplo, no voy a ir a aprender yo que soy maestra, cosas de medicina. Ok, no voy a ir a enfocarme en esas cosas porque no es mi área. Entonces, su área mm -hmm. es communications or administration and that kind of things, right? Sales. Uh, ah, yeah. Kind of. Okay, sales, all right. Then, for example, if you watch the TED Talks about good sellers, how to be a good seller, okay, then, or a salesman, then you are going to understand the vocabulary because you are living every day doing that, okay? You do that for a living. 
So it's going to be easier to achieve to achieve your goal of building more vocabulary. All right. Váyase por lo que primero right. está cerca de usted, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, las cosas que usted hace diariamente, everyday activities, repeat them. Uh, even if they are basic, repeat them all over and over, over and over, right? That's for not forgetting. That's for not forgetting, right? A veces no sé si sea, sí, que claro, que se ha fijado y me pasa quizás bastante. A veces estamos en la clase y me dice, ¿y cómo se dice tal cosa? Ok, se me cruzaron, ¿verdad? Entonces hago el uso perfecto de mi mejor amigo, ¿verdad? Uh, maybe not Google. <laughs> yeah, maybe my cell phone, because I have some annotations here too. But there are applications that helps you, right? to recall those words that you forget, okay? Así que nosotros que vamos a estar hablando dos idiomas, incluso cuando ya usted se queda hablando y conoce bastante inglés, después va a decir, ¿y cómo se decía en español? Uh, okay, me, me pasa, right? It happens. Le iba a decir a vigilante, Cudi. <laughs> have, a, have a good night, <laughs> right? <laughs> Entrando, y Cudi, yo. Uh -huh. uh, well, practice that way. Uh, yo le decía a Abel, por ejemplo, practique con su bebé. Su bebé no le va a decir nada. Ok, no le va a decir, hey, te equivocaste, papá. No, hasta que hace más grande. ¿verdad? Pero ahorita, usted con su perrito, with your dog, give him all the commands <laughs> in English. And they get English better than Spanish. Ok, they can get better English than the Spanish because of the sound, right? Because of the sound of, uh, I mean, the intonation. The intonation, they get better, right? Seat, um, I don't know, other right now. Eat, stop, don't, right? They understand better. They understand better. Try, try with your dog, try with your cat. Well, your cat, uh, I don't know. I don't know with cats, but I don't. I don't have dog and uh, and cat. <laughs> don't you? Don't have dog uh, and cat. Hey, come on! But you told me at the beginning <laughs> of this of this talk that you had one. Oh, I misunderstood. Did I? We no, were talking about children. La, la La mayoría de, de, de gente ahora dice, ah, no tengo niños, pero este es mi niño, y sacan al perro, y sacan al gato. Oh, so you were talking about someone else. All oh, right, now I get it. I thought you were talking about yourself. <laughs> you got me, you got me. I was, imagínese. Tengo un queco por ahí que cuida. <laughs> Oh my God, Henry, you are so funny. You are so funny. Yeah, I like how you see the things, how you see the life. You're really funny. Yeah, happy. Mm -hmm. Happy. All right, uh, this is my tip. This is my tip. I think that you have to build more vocabulary because you know how to structure the sentences or structure ideas, but you have to go back all right, and build more vocabulary related to your uh, everyday life. All right. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. All right, right. Okay, then, no problem. And if you need anything, I mean, you have questions, please don't hesitate and text me. All right. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Okay. No problem. Then have a very good weekend, Henry. You have a good, uh, good weekend. All right. See you Monday. <laughs>